All right, so as I was looking through the website for different resources, I was trying to keep in mind some of my students so I could actually use these uh, resources in my own classroom. And I don't have a lot of kids with visual impairment or any other serious disabilities. I have students that maybe the, the biggest disability they have is severe ADHD. A lot of my students are visual learners. They don't do well in lectures. So lately, because of this class and some other classes I've taken, I've been trying to create lessons where students kind of follow along when there is a lecture. So I was looking through and I found Checkpoint 8.3, Foster Collaboration and Community. And I found CoSketch, which I think is an excellent tool for collaboration. So here is CoSketch. Let's get started. You create a new sketch and it brings you to this online whiteboard. And you can share this link with all your students and they can all join in on this online whiteboard. So I'm an art teacher and we critique art a lot and we look at a lot of imagery. So I, I figured I could, well, one of the great features of this is you can upload an image and let me just set a background here. So you can use this as your background. They have different images they call stamps. Um, if you go into browse library, I just press B. Another great feature is all these hotkeys. Um, it makes it really easy to use this whiteboard. So they call these little pictures stamps. And uh, down here you can go through. There's not a lot to choose from, but uh, there are some useful ones in the grids. Uh, there are some just like clip art type of things that you can pop up. So I figured we could use this as a class together to uh, mark up some different paintings. Students can point out what they're talking about. They can uh, type and they can create different shapes, talk about different sections of the artwork. And uh, everyone in the whole class can see what they're talking about. So this is a great collaborative resource. The next one I found is a simple website, but I thought it would be very useful with some of the lessons I've been doing. It's called Exploring Language. It's a website with a series of videos um, that go level by level. It's all This is all about learning to write expressively, choosing the appropriate words to get your feelings and thoughts across. So um, like I said, we do a lot of critiquing and we have a lot of the students are kind of bombarded in my art class with vocabulary because we're trying to use you know words that express the way they feel about different things so this all these videos go through how it's a it's a lot about poetry and uh, songwriting and lyrics and it's about choosing the correct words to express your feelings so I thought that it would be useful for my students and it comes along with some excellent uh, worksheets here. So if you go up to engage and extend, you get these three prepared worksheets for creating a writing or creating a poem or creating a song. So let's start with the first one. I really like this questionnaire here talking about this kind of helps students examine what they are thinking and, and uh, has some very important pointed questions here. Some great little works worksheet. Next, we have how to create a writing. Oh, this is a great little resource for teachers. And then the final one is reflecting on your work. And I thought that I could definitely directly use these uh, with my students. I do teach guitar and I teach songwriting, and I think students would find that extremely helpful. So there are different levels, like I said, with teachers talking about this, other students, um, professional musicians and writers, and uh, this was a really cool resource that I found.